What's up guys, it's Makuma. I just wanted to do, oh sorry about that. I wanted to do a quick video response to um, IDIC Beer and his giveaway contest <clears throat> thingy. Try to throw my name in the hat, maybe get some of those cool laser cut cards he was talking about. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll have a link in the description to his contest and his channel. Please go subscribe to him, but I am sure that if you are subscribed to me, then you are also subscribed to IDIC Beer because he's awesome. Okay, so here's my Flying Hive Tyrant. I've done a couple of videos of him in the past, and I still haven't based him. So, i got to get on that. Maybe some of you can encourage me to do that. Uh, I wanted to talk about a tactic that I was um, I was thinking about today because I was reading my rule book, and uh, I was like, oh, this is kind of interesting. I wonder if anybody's tried it before. Now, the interesting thing about flying monstrous creatures is that they can start on the table, which is unique to them because other flyers, flying vehicles, can't do that. They, they don't start on the table. Um, now, this makes kind of an interesting idea. So, I usually like to deploy second. I like to see how my opponent's going to deploy, and then I like to deploy. But, if I don't get that chance, I thought maybe this would be a tactic to try to, I don't know, trick them a little bit. So... Let's say you deploy your flying hive tyrant here, and the rest of your army is deployed all the way on the other end of your table. This is just a little piece of foam core that I'm using as my table. Um, you can start your flying hive tyrant on the table, and the rest of your army can be somewhere else on the table. And your opponent um, will most likely try to deploy to counter your hive tyrant. You know, he'll want to put his... I don't know, if he's got a weapon that can do skyfire, he'll probably put that somewhere where it's got range good line of sight, you know. Um, so let's talk about what happens next. So you deployed first, so you're most likely going to get first turn. Uh, even if you don't, this might still work. So uh, first turn comes around, and you look across the table, and you think, well, uh, my opponent put all of the stuff that can counter my flyer in a place that is disadvantageous to where my flyer is currently. Well, right here, um, see I put him near the table edge. And you can say he's swooping at the beginning of your movement phase. Now, swooping flying monstrous creatures get to make a 90 degree turn, and then you can fly him right off the table in ongoing reserve. Now, according to the rule book, uh, when a flyer goes into ongoing reserve, it can return to the table at the beginning of your next phase. Now, that's kind of cool because it's not random. You don't have to roll for it. So, when turn two starts, you look down here at the other end of the, other end of the table, excuse me, and your flying monstrous butthead. If I get this wing to get back on there. Okay. Your flying monstrous creature comes on at a completely different part of the table than your opponent is expecting. Now, um, maybe this is old news. Maybe people are already doing that. I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, with the 24-inch movement, when he swoops, this uh, seems like it's pretty viable. I mean, you get to go 24 inches, so you're probably not going to be in a useless position if you come on the table fresh at turn two. Um, and it's unclear to me, I don't know if this has been fact yet, but it's unclear to me whether or not other psychers can cast blessings on him after he comes in from reserve. I know that it says it happens at the beginning of the movement phase, but it looks like reading the um, reserve rules here that reserves come in at the beginning of the turn is what it says. I don't know if there's any rule that says they can't get blessings after they come on. I'm not, I don't think they can cast blessings, but I think you might be able to cast blessings on them after they come on. Hmm, I don't know. Doesn't really matter though, because if your flyer comes in in a place that's totally opposite what your opponent's expecting, there's a good chance you'll be out of a good range or line of sight from the anti, anti or the skyfire weaponry that he put in place to stop you. Um, you know, obviously it's not going to work every time. It's a situational tool, but maybe that'll help a little bit. Help somebody, some of those tiered players out there. I know some tiered players are feeling dejected and and put upon because of the new rules. I'm not one of those. I happen to think the new rules are really fun. Um, but this is kind of a nasty little trick that I want to try out. And I'm, I think that not enough people watch my channel to really make <laughs> make this a problem. I think I'll probably still be able to pull this off um, uh, with regularity because of how few subscribers I have. Maybe in the future I'll have to remove this video if I get like a thousand subscribers or so. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching guys. I hope this helps somebody.